Shalom family. So <laughs> I, I've been covering this for years now and I've been telling you guys the mark of the beast is coming and they've tested it and in all these countries in Europe and they're rolling out the chip and everybody's happy to have it and I can take up a salesman role and sell it to you. Its benefits are amazing. It's an incredible innovation, but that's what the beast system needs. They need people to buy into it fast and it's going to be really easy to do and they're already proving that. But now in the last month, we have seen a convergence of all these tested systems for the Mark of the Beast coming at hectic speeds, warp speeds, super speeds, beyond light speed, coming to a head to finalize and become the thing they needed to be when everybody eventually gets to make a choice halfway through to take the Mark of the Beast. They'll already have the basic mark set and going smoothly. So just a few quickly, top economists warned that central banks are planning to introduce CBDC microchip implants. We covered that whole story and that's happened and it's out there. And a lot of people are like, yo, this can't be true. It is true, people. Wake up. It's true. The next one, researchers developing injectable smart tattoos that will someday monitor your health. Sounds great, right? It's not going to monitor your health. It's going to implant you with DNA from Nephilim and things like that. Yes, and I sound like crazy tinfoil hat guy, but I'm sorry. I can see them corrupting the DNA. Why do they want to corrupt the DNA so badly? Because God's signature is in your DNA. They want to corrupt that. Anything to do with God, anything that points to God, the devil hates with a passion, which is why he hates you and your loved ones and why he wants so desperately to change your DNA so that he can corrupt something that was made by God. Creating smart tattoo pigments that can be injected under the skin to monitor biomarkers in the body. His concept, this Dr. Ali Yetison, replaces conventional tattooing with functional materials. Tattoos that change their color in response to external stimuli, such as a change in blood sugar levels for people with diabetes, monitoring kidney or liver functions, athletes being warned of dehydration, Bruns, an assistant professor of mechanical engineering at the University of Colorado, Boulder, says he got his first tattoo at 19 and that love carried over into his research. In 2020, he was part of a team that published a paper on a small light sensitive tattoo dubbed the solar freckle, a dot powered by sunshine. The otherwise invisible tattoo will reveal itself when exposed to UV light. Like when a person has been in the sun too long and it disappears when more sunscreen is applied over. They've already started putting in special bulbs and things that can highlight these kind of things that need to be seen. So you have the mark. It might not be visible to anyone, but you have the right light stream hitting it, UV or whatever, and boom, there's your mark for everyone to see. Now you can pass through. You can go into the grocery store. You can go and do everything you need to do. You can enter restricted areas. But if you don't have the mark, off to a FEMA camp or a prison camp or whatever, a holding camp where we can try and work on you or exterminate you. That is the amazing period lying ahead for mankind. It's not some incredible utopia from sci-fi where everyone's just sunflowers and daisies. No, darkness, chaos and evil. It's going to make Hitler look like a fun comic strip. Next one. The government plans to keep track of every citizen with a universal ID linking everything from Medicare to your driver's license. Go Australia. They will soon be using a national digital ID that will hold all your information. From your Medicare card to your driver's license to your passport to your Centrelink details to banking the universal ID was first planned by the coalition and has now been taken up by the Albanese government. Finance Minister Cathy Gallagher said the ID would allow licenses and other forms to be verified online by external organizations and will be rolled out within a year. According to Daily Mail, there's been backlash towards the proposed ID, but on Wednesday, Ms. Gallagher told the Australian Financial Review's Government Services Summit that the program will be up and running by mid-next year at the latest. In the UK, last February, former Prime Minister Tony Blair was accused of pushing 
a creepy plan for every Brighton to be issued with a digital ID as part of reshaping the state around technology. Isn't that interesting that all these leaders that all went to the same place to study under the same evil people are all pushing the same agenda for the Antichrist in the shadows to get it all in place and everybody's still sleeping. And then we discussed the orb, taking your retinal scans and getting all of that going. We talked about that as well. And then WorldCoin has now modified their DNS records in January 2023, setting it to expire in August 2030. Thanks to those on this channel that have sent me the emails on this. Uh, this was on another Watchman's uh, me messenger, and it's amazing. Again, August 2030. The norm for renewing it is every two to three years, not every seven years. So how have they got it running from 2023 to 2030? That just happens to be this current seven-year Shemitah cycle that is running. Because everything is going to wrap up in this seven years. The mark of the beast is here, people. It's not the final version where you will have to pledge allegiance to the beast and lose everything. It is the prep work and the infrastructure and everything that's there right now. I would still say, please don't take it. It is the beginning of what lies ahead and they can already do horrible things to you. And if you don't believe that, just think about the stuff that's been injected into how many people that are all dying by the droves right now. That is... In the eyes of God is murder on the people that did that to that population. And we're praying for those who were conned into doing that. And keeping them before the Lord. Because God is bigger than any schemes of man or the devil. But see, people, that it is here. Everything is in place. This mark of the beast is a huge drive at the moment. And suddenly, happening at exactly the same time, as the huge drive to crash the dollar and destroy that whole money system. What will happen when that happens? It will suddenly force the world to go, wait, wait, solution. Why don't we just, while everything's crashed, get everyone on board and we just go digital one time. Let's make a world coin one time, one digital ID, everything. It makes sense. And that will be coming out of the mouthpieces at the usual organizations. They're ready. They're good to go. They just need a good crisis, and there are quite a few cooking at the moment. And again, the restrainer will be removed shortly. God bless. Keep looking up.